Uh, this video is kind of for Faith Biker. I was talking to him uh, a while ago about using uh, Windows Movie Maker Live or Windows Movie Maker. They're both pretty good. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to start at the beginning. You click on your start button in Windows over here. You get your thing. There's Movie Maker up here. This is the live one. There's different videos I've done. Just double click on it and it'll open up like this. And now you you click or drag your videos in here. I've got two screens on my computer. I don't I, I don't think it'll show you the other one. But I'll go up, I'll grab my GoPro video, I'll drag it over to here, and you can see it right now here. I just drag it to the beginning of my timeline and I let it go. And then you got over here, Movie Maker is preparing your files. Depending on the size of your files, whether you do it at 30 frames a second or 60 frames a second, uh, this will take a little bit of time. And you got a bar over here at the bottom. You can see it's slowly coming up. I won't make you wait all through that. I'll pause it and I'll come back later when it's uh, when it's finished. Okay, gentlemen, we're back. And uh, our video's all loaded. And I don't jump on me, guys. I know a lot of you are saying, Windows Movie Maker, bleh. You know, we use Power Director, we use whatever. This is, uh, this video is just for the guys starting out that you know don't want to spend a lot of money on uh, editing software and all this stuff they just want to try it out they just want to see what they can do so this is a free comes with windows so a lot of guys can try this out with no cost you know and and it's simple some of the other ones are a little bit difficult to use until you learn it where this Windows Movie Maker is a lot easier. So anyway, we have our video all loaded up. You can see our timeline across here. The little bumps at the bottom. You see this gray area. That is our uh, that's our audio track, and then our video track. Now it it just shows whatever first icon it popped up with. It doesn't show frame by frame all your video. But anyway, this is the first frame. Down here, you got your play, your your frame forward, your frame backwards. So we'll we'll just hit play and we'll go with it for now and see what it looks like. And then here you see the roof of my garage and all that stuff, and and you watch your timeline over here. So the first bunch of this video is kind of junk. YouTube. Right up to about there. If I back it up to here and I hit play again. Good morning. So I don't say good morning till about this dip right here in the audio. So if I hit back here and I play and I stop it about there. Now I, I could hit you know one frame or two frames or three frames forward, one, two, three, four frames backwards, whatever. But anyway, right here, just before this dip, is where I say, good morning, YouTube. So I'm going to go to editing up here, edit, and I'm going to split. And this first bunch right here, this whole first bunch, is kind of garbage, so I'm just going to right-click, I'm going to go remove. Now you see that's all removed, and it's right up to here. So now I'm at the beginning, and when I push play... Good morning, YouTube. Now you hear me saying, Good morning, YouTube. And all the other junk in there is gone. It's all gone. And that's kind of where I want to start my video. But I just don't want to start it right there. I want to put my little logo in front of that. 
So I'm going to go to my other screen, which you probably won't be able to see. But I'll go to where, uh, where the directory where my logo is. I'm just going to grab my logo. Now you can see it. I'm going to drag it down here, and I'm just going to drop it on the front of my video. Now when I drop it there, you see duration up here is 7 seconds. And that's... It might not seem that long, but it's it's pretty long if you're watching the video. So I'm going to drop it down to three seconds. Then I'm going to go over here to the front of my clip where it starts. And then I'm going to go to annotations. And I'm going to go down because I like this one here. Yeah, If you put your screen over them, you'll see how they work. But I like this one. It's kind of white to, to black. I'm going to click on that one. So if I click back at the beginning of my video again, I hit play. Good morning, YouTube. And you can see how that blends in. Oh, I'll get this strap that up around my throat. Anyway, that's a little bit about the, the beginning of the video. How you can clip, how you can edit, how you can add. Another thing is, when you click here, and you see your annotations I'm sorry annotations over here it says 1.50 that's how long it's going to stretch that out so if you click here you can go to two seconds and if you play it good morning YouTube you're gonna notice I mean from 1.5 to 2 it's not a big duration, but you notice it stretches it out longer when it uh, fades from one screen to the other. So that's another, you know, another thing to note. You can change that to whatever. I don't know if it'll let me manually change it. Let's say 10. Okay, we can, now we got 10 seconds. Good morning, YouTube. Yeah, it didn't take the 10 seconds. It basically went to the max of 2 and that's it. But on other other programs, you can change this to be a long delay. Windows Movie Maker is kind of a... It's not the best program, but it's free. And it's good for people starting out that don't want to go and spend money on a program and they want to still be able to put a little bit of editing in the uh, th there's lots of things this thing will do I'll scroll down to the end here uh, I'm just going to click up through the video because there's a spot in here I've already watched the video so I know roughly I always watch it first so I know roughly where I say things where I want to edit and cut and do that kind of thing. Somewhere up about there. No, a little before that. And you notice every time I click, it updates the screen here as to where I am. Somewhere about there, I think it is. Anyway, what happens is I say goodbye and then I keep going, then I say goodbye again. Bore you guys to death, so. So somewhere around here I started to say goodbye. So I'm going to stop it there before I said goodbye. I'm going to go back to editing. I'm going to split it. And you'll see that it splits the screen. Take care guys. We'll, uh, we'll talk with you later. And I'm finished saying goodbye. So I'm going to split the screen again here. Now I've got this little chunk where I say goodbye. I'll play it again so you see it. So I somewhere over here I repeated myself. So I'm going to split it again over here. I'm going to remove this piece where I said cheers, and I'm going to remove this piece where I said goodbye. And now I'm going to go from here. 
and I'm just still driving down the road. But it's kind of an abrupt switch here, so I'm going to go back to add notations. I'm going to go down, I'm going to add the little fade, and we get that little fade in there. Anyway, really read that. So we ended up cutting out where I said goodbye, but I'm going to say goodbye again later. But anyway, that shows you a little bit of how to edit, how to blend it in. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is if you click right here, you got to be really careful. It's hard to do sometimes. But you click on the sound bar here. And you go to the home. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Home. No, editing. Editing. You got your volume control. Now you got, if you click on volume control, you can bring the volume down, you can bring the volume up. For, like, we'll say we'll bring it up like that. And we'll play it. Well, that didn't seem to uh, bring it up much. If I bring it right the other way, maybe we'll see the difference there. Now you see you got no volume. If I click on it again, it, and it's tricky. You got to get it in the right spot. Now bring our volume back up, and you hear our volume again. It's the same when you add music or uh, narration. All that stuff. You got fade in, you got fade out. It's not a lot of options with the audio, but there is some options. So I just wanted to point that out. And we're going to pause again. We'll go right down to the end. And we'll play the last little wee bit. There we go. Talking a bit. Bye-bye. So now we're at the end. We'll just jump morning, back to the front. Stop, stop, stop. We go back all the way to the end. Now I want to put my logo at the end of the video. So again, I grab my logo, I drag my logo over, I put it there. Again, we're up here at seven seconds or so, which doesn't seem like a lot of time. But I only want three. I just want a little wee bit. I don't want to drive everybody crazy looking at my logo. And with it on the logo, we go back to annotations. And we'll put the blur out again. So when I play it, Talk to you a bit. Bye -bye. it fades off to my logo. Anyway, guys, that's a little bit about editing. Uh, a lot more stuff. A lot more stuff I want to show you guys. Uh, I hope you guys don't mind these videos, but uh, like I say, this Windows Editor, Windows Movie Maker, is good for the guys that, you know, don't want to shell out money right away for a big editing program uh, that can do all the fancy dancy, but this will get you started. It's click, click and click. It's easy to use. You know, some of the other video editors, they get a little more complicated. Like I use one that's Blender. It's a, it's still, Blender's a free video editor, but it can get pretty complicated. You can do green screens behind you. You can do all kinds of stuff with it, and it's free. So if you guys would like to see some tutorials on that, let me know. And uh, anyway... This is a, a few users were asking me about stuff like this, and uh, you know, hope they find it useful. And uh, we're out. Take care, guys. Bye bye.